just gonna sit here with my thing. That's right. Sure hope so. For the first time in years this year, I finally had some sort of a routine and an eating schedule. I have a very healthy and very balanced relationship with food. I've never struggled from under eating or overeating or punishing myself or any of that. And I just wanna throw that out there because I do know that it can be a little confusing sometimes online. This video is very true to what I actually eat in a day. I also eat sushi and burgers and takeout and really whatever I'm in the mood for. I don't restrict at all, but for me it always comes back to the foods that I really enjoy eating are healthy, nourishing foods, which just means it's good for my body and it's fuel and I enjoy it. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into this video. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I've been up for a little bit, but I've just been trying to assemble this juicer. <laughs> we got a new juicer, um, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> it's caused me to get a little bit of a later start to the morning. All I've had so far is water on an empty stomach and I'm actually pretty starving and so tired. <laughs> the thought of trying to do this video without coffee in me is just like, it's just not gonna happen. I need coffee. <laughs> She's all cleaned and ready to go. So the first thing that I try to do in the morning is make celery juice. This is a routine that I started over quarantine when I was at home all the time, but I actually haven't been doing it recently because we've been all over the place. We've been in Carmel Valley, Big Sur, Lake Powell, to Sedona, to Vegas. I didn't really do my celery juice um, routine then. This natural salt in the celery binds to all these toxins and flushes you out. And when you have it first thing in the morning, it can really have some amazing health benefits. And one of those can be for the skin. Whether it was the celery juice or Sonia Dakar's products, I also started drinking mass amounts of water while we were at home over that period of time. Um, I got that water bottle that everyone has. This guy. So drinking like two of these a day, plus doing the celery juicing every morning, plus using Sonia Dakar's products. I don't know which one it was or if it was a combination of all three, but my skin went from complete breakout like over my entire face to almost clear in like two months. Drinking celery juice on an empty stomach every morning is a great thing for anyone to do for just their health. I'm just prepping the celery. Good morning. <laughs> celery is washed and ready. I've never done this before. Wait, is this right? Sure hope so. Seems to be juicing. to clean the juicer, but it's actually pretty easy to clean. My main hesitation to doing juicing and to getting a juicer was definitely the thought of having to clean it every day, but it's actually like really easy to clean. So don't let that stop you if you're interested in juicing. Let's get to the good part. Let's make the coffee. love coffee. We're so into coffee, not just as regular coffee consumers, but we're really interested in what makes the absolute best cup of coffee in terms of health, low acidity, no jitters, being focused. So we really care about that kind of stuff. So more on that soon. But for now, let's make Uh, 
coffee. I'm gonna get the breakfast going. I'm hungry. <laughs> One of our favorite go-to breakfasts that we make all the time is oatmeal. This Instant Pot makes making oatmeal effortless. You just set it up to cook and leave it and then it's done. Rolled oats. Add three cups of liquid. <laughs> Two. And half a cup of oat milk. It's kind of weird adding oat milk back into oats, but... Go back, back to your home. I was just gonna say that. Oh. Go back and be with your friends and family. Shake it like your mom and me. Now you shake it, pop on the top. Wrong way. There you go. <laughs> you can tell that Zach normally makes the oatmeal, not me. Just set this up to cook, and then we're gonna make coffee, and then we're gonna come back, and it'll be ready. And now you just set a timer for 22 minutes. Hey Siri, set me a timer for 22 minutes. Well, it's been probably like 25 minutes and I'm almost done with my cup of coffee and honestly I might make another one just because I feel like I need it today. Some days one cup of coffee is good, some days I just need two. I'll never really go over two cups of coffee unless I like go out with some friends and get another coffee, but never over three. Now I'm gonna make some breakfast. It's definitely a little later than we normally eat. Sometimes we'll eat around 9 a.m. if we're hungry. We'll probably just eat a later lunch, so time for some oatmeal. consumed this much water. Drinking water for me is something I've only recently gotten better at. It's just something about knowing that if you drink at least one of these a day, that'll suffice for your water intake. Right now, I feel like I need another little pick-me-up. It's getting late um, into the day and I've only had that first coffee that I had. I do feel like I need something else and I'm gonna go get outside. Um, it's such a beautiful day. I think it's like 90 degrees out and I just really wanna be outside and Get some exercise in. I'm gonna go make this iced coffee now. Banana? Sure. Eating half a banana for energy. All right, Zach's gonna go for a run and I'm gonna meet him at the park. I'm gonna bike. Okay, meet you at the park. Just got to the park and just finished my cold brew. I decided to transfer it into a to-go cup. And now I'm just gonna do a little workout. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It is so perfect out. I just finished my workout. We were just debating on lunch, but the most realistic is... Erwan. Erwan. How many times a week do we eat at Erwan? Remembers. 
we're members, so, so that helps a little bit. That's telling you something right there. <laughs> yeah, we subscribe but. to Air One. It's fast and easy and healthy, and yeah. it's expensive, but it's really good. So let's go, we'll take you with us to Air One. Now we're going home. We only have one bike, so. On, girl. Hopefully this bike doesn't break. And this is lunch. This is a vegan lentil dal, so kind of like a curry. Some greens, quinoa, and just broccoli and spinach and stuff. And then these potatoes are so good. This is some kind of Japanese mushroom that we're trying. It's like a fried mushroom. And this is Zach's plate. He has chicken, rice, and these pesto noodle things. I always make sure I have something green on my lunch plate. So today I went with these, this mix of greens. I will try and eat a vegan meal either for lunch or dinner. I'm not vegan, but I avoid dairy and I avoid, I mean, I don't avoid meat, but I typically would go for a vegan option, but I love fish, ate a lot of fish. Bon appetit. It's time for my afternoon tea. Fun fact, I was born in England, moved here when I was two years old with my family. I grew up in a British household. I've always loved tea. I was drinking that way before I was drinking coffee and I still love to have it like in the afternoon as a pick me up. I'm gonna make some tea. I'm debating between chai or black tea, but either way I'm gonna make a tea latte with a little bit of honey and it's like, I just love to have that after I eat lunch because it gives me a little bit of energy and it's also something a little bit sweet and I love to have something sweet after a meal. Latte latte, and then I'm making myself black tea. Here you go, babe. Oh, thank you. Mate latte. You can't go wrong with mate latte. Got my tea, and I'm ready to get some work done. It is 7 p.m and it's time to start thinking about dinner. Recently, we've kind of been on a Postmates kick. We do have such busy work schedules that it isn't super realistic for me to try and cook every single meal. We're going to check out Postmates right now and find something for dinner. Thinking of doing this place called M Cafe because they have really healthy veggie-based options, but they also have fish and salmon. Place to order. Now we wait. Food's here! Dinner is served. I got a salmon teriyaki bowl and it has veggies and rice, brown rice. Zach got this spicy miso ramen noodle bowl with salmon on top. This is a spicy salmon roll and this is a shiitake mushroom veggie roll. We completely destroyed that meal. We really, really enjoy having a little dessert after dinner. Our favorite dessert is vegan ice cream with like a cookie or brownie. That's like our go-to. I really like this original, not the vanilla because this is way less sweet. So I'll just take a few scoops. And then I have a little bit of this brownie. All it has in it are black beans, oats, dates, cacao, baking powder, baking soda, and chocolate chips. And then 
then I'm gonna wash that dessert down with a cup of peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is my favorite non-caffeinated blend of tea. It just soothes your digestion and kind of calms you down. And, and a water update, I drank two and a half of these today. We tend to eat a little later. Today was extra late just because we did get a late start to the day. I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready for bed. That concludes my day of meals. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment. I will see you in the next video.